Is your hard drive failing? Let's find out next. All right, let's run some tests to check our hard drives. Let's go down to Chrome. We're going to open up Crystal Disk Info. Crystal Disk Info is going to give us information on our hard drive, including smart information. Smart information stands for Self Monitoring Analysis and Reporting Technology. It's a monitoring system included in computer hard drives, solid state drives, and EMMC drives. Its primary function is to detect and report various indicators of drive reliability and the intent of anticipating imminent hardware failures, according to Wikipedia. Let's go ahead and click on this zip right here. We're going to download the standard edition. And it's downloading down here. It's relatively small, 4.3 gigs. Actually, 4.3 megs. Let's show in the folder here. Let's go ahead and extract this file. We'll extract it into the downloads folder. Be careful to download dis uh, Crystal Disk Info, not Crystal Disk Mark. Mark actually shows you the speed of your drive. You want the information on your drive to see if it's good or bad. All right, we have a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. Let's go ahead and click on the 64-bit version. Windows wants to make sure that you want to run this app as usual. And this shows us that I'm running a Kingston 120 gig hard drive in this computer. This particular hard drive is an SSD. It's good. At, uh, let's see, 100%. And it's running at 27 degrees Celsius, which is fine for this particular computer or this particular hard drive. All right, let's go ahead and close this out. Close this, close this. And let's go on to the next software. The next software is the Western Digital software. Now, all these links at the top here, I'm going to put them all in the, in the description. So just go to the description. You won't have to type all this stuff in. You can check it out there. There'll be links for everything. Now, we go to this page here. We look for the Data Lifeguard Diagnostic for Windows. Let's go ahead and click here. And then here you can download this if you want to. The, the situation is this hard drive that I have on my computer is a Kingston. So this software is not going to run on my computer. If you have a Western Digital hard drive, this will work for you. You'll hit download, and you'll go ahead and run that on your computer. The next page we're going to check out is called C Tools by Seagate. There again, this is going to let us check out our Seagate hard drive, if we have a Seagate hard drive. Now let's look down here. And the one I would want would be C Tools for Windows. And this will allow us to bring this up down here. It's 24.8 megs. I'm going to try to run this on my hard drive just to see if it will. Let's see if it barks at us or not. Seems like it's letting us install it at least. Let's go ahead and click Next. Let's accept this. Click Next. Looks like it's going to install it under x86. Program Files x86. Let's click Next. And Install. And Finish. I was waiting to see if it's going to go ahead and bring it up, but it doesn't look like it's going to. So let's go ahead and do this and type in C here, which brings up C tools for Windows. Let's go ahead and click on this. This is going to allow us to run this program. It 
And let's see, this is CTools for window. Let's run it as administrator and see what happens. Let's click yes again. Another license agreement. Let's accept that. All right. And inside of here, looks like we can do a scan. This is scanning for the drives that are inside the computer. In the meantime, I'm going to close some of these things here. And it's not giving us any information because this is not a Seagate hard drive. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. If you had a Seagate hard drive, I'm sure it would show up here with the model number, the revision, and the status. Let's go ahead and close this. Let's move on to the next tester. If you have an A-Data hard drive, an SSD hard drive, you'd want to run this information here, this diagnostics. There's diagnostics in here, drive info. And then what we can do is we can download the toolbox right here, which will allow us to check this, this hard drive. But I don't have an A-Data hard drive in this computer, so this isn't going to work for my hard drive. Let's move on to the next hard drive tester. All right, HDD scan. This has been around for a long time. Let's go ahead and download this. It's downloading down here. And it looks like it finished. Let's show in the folder. Let's right click on it and extract all. There again, we're going to extract everything into the downloads folder. Let's extract. And this is the file right here. Let's go ahead and run this. Click yes to agree. Agree again. All right, this understands that we have a Kingston hard drive in the computer. Let's run a smart test and see what it says. All right, everything's coming back good. Looks like it's got an ECC problem. This hard drive doesn't have ECC RAM. That's probably why it's giving me that error. ECC is error correcting RAM. All right, let's close this. Let's run our read and write test. And let's just go ahead and hit read. Oh, this is going to take a long time. So. I'm probably just going to just get out of this because this is going to take quite a bit of time because it's got to go through every side or every block on this hard drive and it's going to take quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Get out of this, out of this. Let's move on to the next one. This is Disk Checkup by Passmark Software. They also make 3D Mark, I believe. And let's go down. These are some of the screens of what it's going to look like. All right. This is free for personal use, which is nice. And let's go ahead all the way to the bottom here. Let's download Disk Checkup. It loads down here. Let's go ahead and click on it once. Let's allow it to run. Let's hit yes. Go ahead and hit OK. Next. Let's accept the agreement, the EULA, end user license agreement. Next. It's going to install it under program files x86 again. Next. It's going to name it Disk Checkup. And it's going to create a desktop icon. And let's install, finally. Are you ready to continue with setup? Next. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to launch it. Finish. It knows that we have a Kingston hard drive in the computer. I go ahead and I clicked on that. And this is going to give us a bunch of information about the hard drive. How many cylinders it has, tracks per cylinder, the serial number, which is really nice. If you need to do an RMA, it's always nice to have the serial number so you can do an RMA, which is a return merchandise authorization. So you can send it back if your hard drive is bad and it's still under warranty. The status is okay. And it's 111.79 gigs. 
smart info. Let's look at this. I don't see where it's coming back with any problems. Looks like it's going through a self-test routine. Not sure how long this is going to take. It's running a short test, which is one to five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and stop this because I don't, I don't want to wear out my hard drive. Whenever you run a test like this, it tends to uh, put a lot of stress on the drive. So let's go ahead and abort this. That's unable to abort. I'm going to exit it out. And the last test is Kingston, which is in this machine. We have a Kingston hard drive in here. So let's go ahead and install this right here. We're going to go ahead and click on this. This is the setup for the Kingston hard drive downloading. And I'm going to open this. I'm going to allow it to run. Accept. I'm just going to install an x86 again. Next. Next. I'm going to create a shortcut. And I'm going to install. Now I have a Kingston hard drive in this computer, so this software is made specifically for this. And finish. All right. Now let's go down here. This is saying that it wants to update my firmware, but I'm going to leave that for right at the moment. The SSD wear indicator is at 100%, which means this hard drive is probably getting towards uh, the end of its life, life cycle. But uh, let's go up here to health. Looks like everything is uh, is green though, which is nice. This worries me a little bit. The wear indicator says it's at 100%. I've had this hard drive for quite a long time and I just use it for testing. So there's nothing on here that's important. Wow, power on hours, 8,505 hours. That's like four years of work. Solid. All right, let's close this. And that's a bunch of tools for testing out your hard drive. All the links will be in the description. I appreciate you uh, checking out this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.